So right here, um, now we have to create a middleware. Let me show you an example. So a middleware basically is a piece of code that runs just before your main code executes. So when somebody visits a URL or performs any action on your site, this piece of code executes before the main code executes. So this is an example of, uh, let's say, this is somebody performing an action and the middleware will execute before your main code will execute. So normally your the action is connected to your main code directly, but this time we want to create a middleware between the action and our main block of code. For instance, a user fills up a form and clicks submit, that's an action, and then it's supposed to hit our controller. So let's say our controller is here. So we have controller, whatever controller example, user controller user-controller.php so before user-controller.php and this is probably a blade this is um, a blade let's say signup.blade.php uh, which essentially is a html so before somebody fills this form click submit normally if they fill this form and click submit it, it should go to user controller and execute uh, one of your methods there that helps to create the user account in database and blah 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 now we want to make sure that when somebody clicks submit we're we are going to run a small piece of code uh, which is a middleware before the main con code in the controller runs example of a code you can run in a middleware is to check if the user is logged in so another example is to check if um, the user has the permission to perform what they want to perform like in our case now we want to make sure that only admins can access roles url so check we'll do here check if user is admin that is if a user tries to add sex check anything about roles we have to uh, first of all check if they are uh, an admin so laravel comes um, complete with a test a basic um, um middleware so if you want to see it you go to app go to http i'm going to minimize it you see middleware so middleware you see all the middlewares that came first with laravel this one is verify crs csrf token it makes sure that people can't just manipulate your form anyhow on your web page um, this one trims strings and, and password look at password it trims it uh, okay it trims strings except on passwords um this one redirects if a user is authenticated this is the auth you understand it redirects if the user is authenticated so we need to create another one here that will check if somebody is um an admin before letting them to access some route that we want so example of the usage of uh, the default one that came with bootstrap is um, to go to you go to routes go to web.php and you'll see that we imported a middleware called auth. This middleware comes default with Laravel, and um, it means that only people that are logged in can access these routes. So you will see, we put these three, these four, inside this middleware uh, auth. You get what I'm saying? So it makes sure that only people that are logged in can access it. If you try to log, uh, access any of these, it will throw you out, all right? Now we need to put some of these, more, some more links into to check whether it's an admin so to create a middleware uh first of all there's a place you can read up about the middlewares on the if you go to laravel website and um, if you go to laravel website search for middleware make sure you have your internet connected and you click on the first one it will bring you here otherwise you can go to basics and click on middleware so you read up about middlewares and this is an example of how to create a middleware so let us go and create one we we'll copy this we need to create a command we need to go to our command prompt right click and paste in this case the one we want to create will will be admin or check admin what no matter whatever you want to call it so i'm going to call it admin or check admin so I'm just calling check admin so that it will, the name will be descriptive. You click enter, then you chill within a few seconds. It would have created it, so you say created successfully. Now if we go back to our code and go to app http 
middleware, we'll see that um, I have to refresh this. Uh, we need to refresh. You see, check admin has been created. If you click on it, see that basic code has been written for you. Now, in the check admin, this line is the line that passes the request. So, the action that somebody wants to perform, let's say somebody wants to access a, a route, the action that they want to, the, that action of accessing the route or page or viewing the page, this line basically tells it, oh, yeah, continue. Okay, you can continue. So, what we want to do is to, first of all, somewhere here, check if the user is an admin. You get if user row id is less than three you get uh, another way we can do it is to to say if it is not less than three if it is greater than two that means uh, they can't access it we have to redirect them to another url route and throw an error so probably we should take them to to the home page you understand with a message so let's say redirect um redirect home <coughs> this route is already created i'm not just forging it if we go to our routes and click on web.php you see that this route already exists so that's what we're just throwing them to if your your account is greater than your role id is greater than two that means you're not a moderator you're not an admin you should not see this so but now we're just doing for check admin we need to also check for um, moderator so now we, we have to be strict with what we're doing if your id your role id is not equal to one period redirect we can also create a flash message we can say flash error and that error says sorry you have no permission to view this and um or we can say more descriptively only admin can view this page then we have to import flash and say use flash we have to import auth so we say use auth then this works best so perfectly check if the user is 100% an admin if he's not an admin if he's an if the user is not an admin redirect them and throw an error if they are an admin just continue normally as if something nothing happened now we can now use this um, um qr code we can now use this um uh, middleware in our app but we have to use it in the next video because um, this video is already too long